10 things every turtle keeper needs. Number three will shock you. I feel like I want to title it that. That would be really funny. What is up, guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. So whether you already own a turtle or are thinking about getting one, these are 10 things that every turtle keeper has or will need to get if they are going to own a turtle. And we should just start off with the most obvious thing. If you're going to have a turtle, you need a place for them to live in. So you need a fish tank or an aquarium or a habitat of some sort. When it comes to the size of this enclosure, it really depends on the size of the turtle and kind of the habit of the turtle. For this specific video, I am talking only aquatic turtles, not tortoises, not necessarily box turtles or other turtles that live on land, just animals that are aquatic and spend most of the time in the water. So for these types of turtles, the most common type of enclosure you would get is a glass aquarium. I really like aquariums because they make it easy to display your animal, you can see them, but you can also do things like stock tanks or tubs, which tend to be larger and they're just like a giant tote or a tub that you can put your turtle in. You mostly view them from the top, kind of like a mini pond. Some people keep these inside, but those are just some of your options. The one thing you want to remember regarding size is a good general rule is shoot for 10 gallons for every inch of shell on your turtle. So if you have a four inch turtle, 40 gallon tank, seven inch turtle, 70 gallon tank or 75 gallon tank. You, you understand what I'm saying. It's pretty straightforward. As always, bigger is almost always better provided you provide lots of decorations and make it as natural as possible. Speaking of decorations, while this is not the second most important thing, it is gonna be second on this list here because we're already talking about it and that is decorations. You want to make this environment as natural as possible for your animal. You're not just gonna stick them in a bare tank for the most part. You wanna give them stuff to climb on, stuff to hide in, break up their line of sight and really create a dynamic environment that is enriching and good for this animal so that they can thrive. Things like rocks, wood, live plants if your turtle will let you, all of those are great things to add. You could even put like, I don't know, a submarine or a SpongeBob pineapple. It doesn't really matter provided that it is safe for the turtle, they can't get stuck in it, they can't eat it, that sort of thing. Well, except for the plants. I mean, if they eat your plants, just make sure they're non-toxic plants. And also at this point, I should probably mention this is not in any order of importance. Like I said, this is kind of just all the 10 things that any turtle keeper should have and should need. So stick to the end of this video to see the full list. This is like kind of like a checklist. It's good. It's good. Number three is the basking area. These are especially important for some of the most common species of pet turtles, such as the sliders, the painted, the maps. They all need to have a space to come out of the water to dry out and bask underneath the lights or the sunlight, which we'll talk about in a second. But the basking area can be many different styles. You have above tank basking areas, you have floating basking docks. Personally, I would try to provide at least some area for the turtle to get out of the water just so that they have the opportunity to do so. Even with my common musk turtles, like in the tank behind me, they still have a floating basking dock and they have used that before, even though musks are generally regarded as a species that doesn't bask as often. So choose a basking area that is suited to the size of your turtle and also their natural behavior. I've got more videos on that somewhere up here. All right, the next thing is basking lights. And this is actually a three part thing. So we're covering number four, five, and six. The first thing is heat. You want to have some kind of heat bulb over your basking area. This mimics the warmth of the sun. It helps the turtle metabolize because they're cold-blooded obviously so they need to have a space where they can get warm having a heat lamp over the basking area helps you do this you can also have a heater in the aquarium that can help keep the temperatures stable although this is not always necessary for older turtles if your tank is mostly room temperature and then there is UVB UVB is so so important do not pass this up for your turtle you need to have a UVB bulb over the basking area this is a bulb that produces a specific wavelength that allows your turtle to absorb vitamin D and have healthy shell growth, all those good things. Often you see turtles with metabolic bone disease or poorly developed shells. That's often because of a lack of UVB. So this is super duper important. Do not underestimate the power of a UVB bulb. Make sure you have that over your basking area. And then for this next item, I don't actually have it. So let's run upstairs to go get it. All right, so this next item is a timer. So some people might not think this is necessary, but if you don't have one of these, what are you doing? Because this is gonna make your life a whole lot easier when trying to manage the lights in your tank because you want the aquarium lights and the basking lights to be on during the daytime and off at night. And you don't wanna have to worry about turning them on and off every single day because that gets old super duper fast. So you can get digital timers like this one. You can get analog ones that kind of have spinny uh, dials so you can set the schedule for your timer. But just if you don't have one, get one. Make your life easier. Work smarter, not harder. Moving on, number seven. This one should be really, really self-explanatory, and that is a filter. You need a filter. 
for your turtle tank and for your turtle. This is to keep the water flowing, to prevent it from being stagnant, to help filter waste out of the aquarium and keep it in the filter. This is just a necessary thing in order to keep your tank looking clean and also to keep your turtle healthy because it really aids in the breakdown of waste in the little ecosystem that is your turtle tank. So you have a myriad of options to choose from. You could do a power filter like the one in the tank behind me. You could do one that's a canister filter. That's a personal favorite of mine because it holds a lot of waste and a lot of space for filter media. You could do a small internal filter. The main thing that I wanna point out here is try to get a filter rated to two to three times the size of your tank because that will allow enough water turnover to deal with the large amount of waste that a turtle produces. Keep in mind that turtles are very messy creatures and even if you're feeding them in a separate tank which we'll talk about in a second they still make a lot of waste if you have a 55 gallon tank don't get a filter rated for 55 gallons get a filter rated for 100 gallons or even better like 150 gallons now this is not a hard and fast rule but if you're kind of just wondering a good basic guideline that's what i would go with Okay, so as I mentioned, feeding in a separate tank, this is something you can do to reduce the impact of the waste, like uneaten food on your filter. So get yourself a little shoe box or a little bucket or something of some sort. It doesn't have to be big, just big enough for your turtle to have a little bit of space. Now, the reason I say that every turtle keeper should have like a separate feeding tub is because it doesn't necessarily have to be used just for separate feeding. You can also use it to top off water in the tank or if you need to take your turtle out of the tank while you're cleaning it. It's just nice to have a separate container where your turtle can't escape from. My musk turtles, for instance, don't even eat out of a separate container, probably because they're blind. I've just never had success with it, but I still have a separate bucket designated for their tank and I use this to top off water or hold them in a separate place when I need to. Continuing with the theme of cleaning, the number nine thing on our list is the siphon slash aquarium cleaning tube. It could be a python, it could be buckets, whatever your method is to change water in your tank. You just need some tool that will help you change the water in your tank. Water changes are just going to be a part of your life when you have a turtle. So you might as well just get something that'll make the job easier. So this and a five gallon bucket is usually sufficient. And then finally, perhaps one of the most obvious things uh, is food. Your turtle needs to eat something in order to survive. And so every turtle keeper needs some food for their turtle. There's a wide variety of options. Uh, this is actually some food I repackaged in a Talenti jar. I'll have a link in the description to different food products that I use and also all the other things mentioned in this video. So go check that out, but make sure your turtle just has a good varied diet with some nutrition, get them some treats like freeze dried shrimp. For the most part, you can go with one staple pellet to feed your turtle and then supplement with a variety of other things to make sure they are getting all the nutrients that they need. You can also supplement with other like live foods, but just make sure your turtle has something to eat. So those are the 10 things that every turtle keeper has or needs, I guess. If you haven't got a turtle, run out and get all these things, or you can do some online shopping. Click the link in the description. It has all of the things on this list and more. And if you do purchase through them, it does help support the channel. So thank you in advance for that. Let me know in the comments, please, if I missed anything. I don't think I did. It's possible though. So let me know in the comments if there's anything else that a turtle keeper needs or what your favorite one on this list was. Thanks for hanging out with me during this holiday season as it starts to get a little bit busier, spending time with family, all of that. I very much appreciate it. Or if you're not watching this in the holiday season, just thanks for joining me anyway. This was a fun time. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye.